Hey YouTube, today we're going to learn how to install brakes on a 2010 Honda Odyssey. Alright, I just removed my brakes and it's time to install the new ones, so here's the video of how to install them. I just went to AutoZone. AutoZone. No, I'm not sponsored by AutoZone. <laughs> they didn't pay for none of these parts. I paid for them. I did. This guy did. Uh, they're sponsored by NASCAR though. <laughs> uh, anyways, um, so here's the new brake, 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 brake pads. <laughs> uh, so we're gonna go ahead and open these up. I'm gonna need both hands. All right, so here are the original ones and the new ones. Uh, these new ones come with new hardware already. Here's the old hardware. These look a lot tinier. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna swap these to the OEM ones. Just like so. And just like so. Cool. Uh, but before I do that, I'm actually gonna clean them. I got this brake cleaner and this brake lubricant so I can throw behind the hardware so it doesn't make any stop brake noise <laughs> and we're also going to remove these from here like so bottom one and the top one and we're going to clean these out as well and throw some lubrication behind it from here and a little bit in here so I'm gonna go ahead and spray these down and clean them up shake the can nice and good Turn around let them soak One more time for good luck. Good luck. Then we're gonna grab our towels and we're gonna wipe them down. I'm using my uh, my four local as a stand. <laughs> that way you guys can see what I'm doing. So I already wiped these down. So it looks a lot better than what it used to. Not perfect, but it's all right. I'm gonna do the same thing to these. Helpers back. <sighs> She's watching us. Not her. Her. <laughs> the sea. All right. So, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna get these out of here. Because you can see this one's not really springing out. This one is, and we're gonna lubricate these. All right, so the way you're gonna pop these out is you stretch these out a little bit and the screw, flathead screwdriver, you just pop them out, pop them out, pop them out. These come out. You can tell they need some grease in there. Look up, George. There, this other one, back up. They both need grease. So we're gonna go ahead and clean these up 
and lubricate them. Just press it and pop. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and clean them up. All right, so I got some grease here. We're just gonna lubricate them with grease. Nice and good. And you wanna remember where they both came from. This one came from the top, this one came from the bottom. So we're gonna place them back into place. With the black lid, though. With the black lid, the one, the one with the black lid goes in the bottom? Slip them back into place. Slip the little boot back into place. There it is. Nice and squishy, both of them. And that's how they should be. You save this grease. You have, the other a, side. you have a hole in your glove. All right, so. Time to grease the hardware. All right, so we're gonna place them in the back. Back to where it was before. So this one is going to go right in the front. That's what I'd like to do the top for something. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I'm not gonna pass on the chance for a camera. So this one goes. This one goes in. Yes. Now what we gotta do is press this piston inside. So we're gonna come over here, loosen up the brake oil cap, set it aside, come back over here. There is a special tool you could use for this. 
but we're gonna use the Mexican hack. All right, so what you're gonna do is grab the old brake pad, grab a C-clamp, put the old brake pad behind the piston, use the C-clamp to clamp down onto the back of the piston. And just thread it back down, slowly and gently. fast but he's only loud. Like I said, just nice and slow. stuff. Alright, so what you're going to do now is just slide the caliper back into place. There it is. Grab the two screws that hold it in place. Screw the top, screw the bottom. and tight okay all right so now what you want to do is apply brake so you can squeeze this pad together but we're gonna do the other side and then... all right so both brakes are in place they're both installed and ready to go my reservoir is nice and full it's about a overfill all right, next thing you want to do is just jump inside of the van, start it up, and press on the brake. The first time, it's going to go all the way in. And again, you can feel it getting harder and harder and harder. There it is. Let's give it a nice, good pumps. All right, you should be good. Should be nice and tight. Yep. Yep. Man, going nowhere. Fantastic. Now all we gotta do is just put the rims back on and you're done. Sweet. Thank you for watching. Just like and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell. All right, let's get out of here before we get kicked out.